quick one, Glenn, and, and, and you don't have to answer this. I'm just going to talk about the Beckham documentary. I've not seen it. But he, 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 you get a bit of stick, or he gives you a bit of stick. You had no problem with David, did you? No, no problem at all with David. He was a fabulous player for me and one of the best players this country's ever produced. But um, I haven't seen the documentary. Um, I know what... I've got no worries with what he said. If it, if the film goes well, I wish him all the very best. Mm. I believe his mum had a little dig at me. Well, I tell you what, my mum would have defended me to the hilt <laughs> as well. She was fierce when fight, it comes fight, to my fight, football. Fight. But no, at the end of the day, I know there was... I mean, my daughter sent me a, uh, an interview that I did in France after the game, and I was defending him and saying, we can't make him a scapegoat. I haven't seen... It's the, never a red card I haven't for me. seen it. It wasn't a red no, card. That's never. That's a, that was that Simeone, wasn't it? That's, uh. that's where I was always. I've looked at it and thought, how has he given him a red for yeah. that? It was ridiculous. Nothing, was it? But um, no, actually, you know, I haven't seen it. And uh, you know, what happened to me five years ago, Alan? Those things don't bother me. <laughs> I, I'm scared to ask, but you look fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing well, right. mate. Yeah, yep. I'm doing all right. Thank Isn't you very funny? much. Funny, I've had one. You've had one. Aussies yeah. had one. It's Tottenham, isn't it? <laughs> it's Paul Miller, the worst pro ever. He's there's nothing wrong with him. <laughs> <laughs> what that one out, Maxie? <laughs> Just time for a couple of uh, listeners' questions. This is a stupid one. Jim, what are you doing? Jim. Jim from Jim. Solihull has asked, would you pick Gabby for England? <laughs> Jim, don't be stupid. <laughs> Al, leave me alone. I'm going to go to HR. We've got Ask another one. Uh, not not another one. Uh, Sarah from Salford, do you ever think about getting back into management? Oh. That's a good one. Hey, I'm 66. I'm not too old. Is there? Roy can you go are. back in. No, you <laughs> yeah, <are. laughs> yeah. no, you never say no. You in, don't in want that with your ticker. What, no, you know, no, my ticker's fine. I actually, my ticker's as good as anyone's ticker. It was, it was the other things, the things that lead to it is why you have a cardiac yeah. arrest, which I didn't understand myself then. Anyway, that's another story. No, 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 I'm intrigued here. So you saying I can start living my life again? Oh, as well? oh what, <laughs> what, what do I say here, Gabby? Do I, Jill, Jill, <laughs> what, what do you want me to say? Here? Um, no, it's. Uh, never say never I tell you what I think I, I really really would love to work with some younger good, good players you know 18 well, you enjoyed 19. your academy Re- didn't you I did and Hareth was it Hareth? yeah Hareth we put that together but that's I, a spin I, guard by the way okay. <laughs> what part I think uh, I think I'd love to work with some young players and because I know the journey they're going to have to go on mm. on the pitch and off the pitch and I think I think football misses out on that you know most businesses, I've said this for years, I go and play golf with people and you say, what are you doing? Oh, I'm consultant for because I've retired, blah, blah, blah. And they stay in the business. They stay mm. and they give, they've got so much experience to give these people. We, we, we just cast everyone out in football. Oh, he's finished, bump, bump. Yeah. There's so much knowledge to hand down to particularly young, young players, 17, 18, 19, who are going to go on and, and they're going to they're gonna have to... We know we know the obstacles that are going to oh, come up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, you're getting into the bloodstock business soon. Uh, well, I believe so. Well, <laughs> no, no, you are. Yeah, no, I am. No, no, yeah. no, 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 yeah. no. You can't no. say anything. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, we are, we are part we're, of a syndicate. Got a you're syndicate so stunned down really? in the Royston Road. Very nice. Lovely. Graham, if you're listening, morning, Graham. Uh, Sean and Peckham says, do you have any regrets from your managerial career? Would you go back and do anything different? Oh, I think we'd all. You, it's easy to look back, isn't it, and say, oh, "Well, you could do that differently," because you're perhaps hoping for a, a, a different solution to come out. But you have to, you have to make your decisions at that time. Gareth, as, as he said there, you have to make your decisions, and you live or die by them. But it's, you can't listen to the noise. You can't listen to everyone else, particularly in, in that England job. Particularly, mm. you've got to stick to your guns. The people that are close to you, your 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 staff. You delegate, you you listen, you discuss, but it's your decision at the end of the day as a manager, and that you know it's too easy to say, oh, I change that, I change it. We could all say that in our lives, couldn't we? Yes. But a part of life now for me is I understand it more now than I've ever understood it. Is this is an experience? This life, it's learning, and you learn things from every single day yeah. whether you're in the taxi with the taxi driver or wherever you yes. are this is where we're this is we're footballers we've been footballers we've been very very lucky but it's a learning curve this life it 100%. really is I've got yeah. one for you Glenn last one um, if Southgate does leave after the next tournament who would you like to be in the manager oh dear I've always said even when I saw him play at Bournemouth mm. I, would, I think Eddie Howe would be perfect for England eventually whether he, you know, yeah. you ask me a question, yeah. there's ifs and buts about timing and whatever. But for me, Eddie Howe, when I, what I saw what he was doing at Bournemouth, I thought, give him a, give him a better squad. Yes, he's going to turn something into. Something. And I thought he might go to Arsenal at a time. There was a time when mm-hmm. there was a that was a that was a, 
uh, vacant at the time. And I thought, hmm, Eddie Howe could go there. Didn't go for whatever reasons. I don't think they went for him. But he's proving that now. And I've always liked Eddie. Those are Newcastle fans, Mister. Oh, I bet they're saying, "Oh, yeah." Well, no, listen, he'll be there. He'll win the he'll win the yes. Champions League for Newcastle first, of yeah, course, and go after and then go. <laughs> Glenn, <laughs> I'm gutted. It's nine o'clock. I really it's am. Flown by, isn't it? I'd love yeah. it. You're welcome anytime, mate. I've really enjoyed yes. it, and it's great to see you link so well. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Top man. Cheers, Glenn. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil, Thursday and Friday morning, six till ten on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.